This artifacts of Mars. Get the kids out of the room. I'm beginning matter and matter about this whole situation. I think it's time that the Catholic Church brought back the uh, military wing that they used to have called Knights Templar. And I'm going to relate to that. It's going to be a little involved as far as what I'm going to say, but I'm not holding nothing back. First, I'm going to explain the domestic situation with the invasion from the south, and then we'll get to the other. Alright. Are the kids out of the room? The language is going to be raw. I'm warning you right now. I've been getting madder and madder over the next last few days, and I'm, I'm going to vent. Now... Can you imagine your fucking kids? Your kids go to the fucking school. You have all these illegals there that are in school. Only this time is different. We've had them in school before, but this time is different. Because many of our lawmakers and governors and whatnot have not been allowed to see them. That's right, they've been excluded. Governors, congressmen have been excluded from seeing them. So here's a little bit of paranoia. Paranoia. Let's say these are dear innocent children, which is bullshit. Because anybody who's been following this knows that most of them are over 14. Well, let's say you have, say, 10,000 innocent children, 6, 7 year olds, and they're going in, into, uh, Kindergarten or whatever, first grade, second grade, whatever. But what you don't know is our handlers are some shit like ISIS. Now this is a hypothetical, I'm not stating this for a fact. But let's say they were ISIS, their handlers are ISIS. So you have a few 10,000 kids going to school foreign kids and what you don't know is you know five thousand of them have bombs strapped to them these barbarians don't care they have no morals no scruples they're just pure evil it's a very plausible situation it's a very plausible scenario <sighs> Nothing like uh, bitter store brand coffee to start the day. Alright, so, what do you think would happen? You kids get in the school, maybe they wait for assemblies or to start up or something, and all of a sudden, boom, 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 boom. Tens of thousands of American kids are blown to fucking bits. Plausible scenario? Quite. Now let's look at this from a mother scenario situation. You see, I gave some thought last night to if ISIS made a frontal assault against some of our cities. A frontal assault's not going to work because as soon as people figure out who and what they are, they're going to open fire. And uh, I believe them scumbags will be facing lead from every direction. I I look at the Rochester area, and I would think cops would probably back us up. I don't like the cops around here, but I'm thinking they would back us up on this one and help us out. So. Frontal assault won't work, but that's not what these shitbags are doing, in my opinion. Now, ISIS is already here. And apparently, Ebola is, too. That's the other thing, is I think Obama wants to use disease to weaken the population. ISIS is almost certainly already here. They had a sign in Ferguson that said ISIS is here. Alright, so, 
Right, so maybe they sneak in 5,000 of these so-called children with bombs strapped to them and boom, 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 boom across the country. Total mayhem. Now, Obama's been doing a few targeted airstrikes against ISIS. That's not what needs to happen. We need to unleash the bomb. Give me a squadron of bombers and a few dozen uh, neutron bombs and I'll take care of this. Well, that's not the way it works. They don't want it taken care of. I consider Obama, Obama to be a traitor. I'm plain and simple. I'm not taking it back either. So, here's part two. It's time for the Catholic Church to bring back its military wing, the Knights Templar. The governments are not going to fucking protect you from these scumbags that are doing this, ISIS. And for that matter, your God isn't going to protect you either. You really think... I'll get to that in a minute. The Catholic Church used to have a military wing called the Knights Templar. And the Templar Knights... They, I don't know that much about them, but, you know, this had to do with the Crusades. And, basically, Muhammad and his armies had rolled over the Middle East, and then Catholic Church started the Crusades to try to drive them out, which didn't work. And that can't, you know, this war has been going on and on. But the Catholics have the right idea. It grieves me to think about this, but, you know, I think we do need a private army to start taking care of this. Because these bastards don't have any scruples, morals. They're completely evil. Hell, I'm starting to possibly even think believe in uh, devil possession, demon possession looking at this ISIS and then they cut off that guy's head I couldn't tell whether that was in the studio or actually in the Middle East they cut off his fucking head like they did with Nick Berg they're pure evil, alright? so the government's not going to protect you, I actually think Obama may be in league with them. I don't go by news reports. I look at uh, what's actually going on. Obama may or may not be in league with ISIS. I can't tell. But your government's not going to do anything for you. And like I said, neither is your God. You know, we have the evangelicals, and this burns me. This burns me to no end. The evangelicals sit there and say, Oh, forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. Forgive them, they know not what they do. Fuck you. Of course they know what they're doing, they're evil. You know, while well, the... Well, uh, evangelicals are busy forgiving. It hasn't fucking dawned on them that their mighty God has allowed tens of thousands of Christians and Jews to be murdered by their these barbarians. Fuck! Where is this mighty God? Well, the Bible says... Fuck it! You know... Seeing they're trying to justify justify this shit this way is bullshit. According to your Christian Bible, God nuked zapped a couple of cities with his great thunderbolts, Sodom and Gomorrah, because the men in the towns were basically sixty nine each other. Alright. 
Now, what's worse? Tens of thousands of people, of people being butchered by genocidal maniacs or a bunch of guys powering it up and 69 each other. You get my point? The behavior in Sodom and Gomorrah was nothing compared to what we have going on in Iraq. If anywhere God should send his thunderbolts down, it's into Iraq to hit ISIS. Not a peep out of God. Nothing. It's not doing a goddamn thing. You see any thunderbolts coming down on these motherfuckers? I learned a few targeted bombs from Obama. No. So, nothing's going to happen here. If ISIS does come here, you evangelicals, your God is not going to protect you. Period. Then the subject. You people are fucking pathetic. You say how powerful your God is, but he can't throw down one thunderbolt or do anything to protect the people in Iraq. And you motherfuckers stayed silent and are staying silent about the butchering of your uh, comrades in Iraq. Pathetic. Pathetic. Oh, forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness. Screw that. Bomb, bomb, bomb. It's the only option we have. So, how about you Catholics? Uh, you want to bring back your military wing? And actually do something about it? I'd say bring back the Crusades. Completely serious. We don't do something. These slime will be on your street. And I don't mean over in London. I mean right here in America. And these slime will be ruling your streets. So if they, they attack us from within, I figure they have a much better chance than they ever would with standing armies moving across land because the people will open fire on them. They did that. You know, they might send a, you know, a hundred kids to the Disney World, a hundred of these so-called poor, disadvantaged children. And then, next thing you know, the bombs go off and a few 10,000 people are killed. Or however many go to Disneyland on a day. It's going to be up to the Catholic Church and any evangelicals that actually care to grow a backbone and start fighting instead of preaching Oh forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness Oh ho 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 God'll take care of us, God's so wonderful Fuck that So any of you that actually decide to grow a spine, maybe you can join the Catholics and come to me, I'll pick up a gun and fight. Cause I know if we don't something's going we're going to get taken over. And we'll be living in conditions that are so deplorable that'll make the Nazi concentration camps look like a picnic. So, any of you evangelicals who really want us to make a difference, I say this to you. Drop your cocks and grab your socks Get together with the Catholics and let's get the Knights Templar going again. Let's get an army going not to go against the government, but to go against the slain in the Middle East 
who intend to kill us. They've stated this. And ISIS, that's a real threat. Because these douchebags in Washington have left the back, our back door wide open. And Islamic relics have been found at the border. Oh, forgiveness, forgiveness, forgiveness! Give it a fucking rest. And if you can't grow more of a back, backbone like that, then you're a fucking jellyfish out in the goddamn water. Like I said, put down Playboy, get off the pot, and let's get an army going together. Come to my door. I'm ready. I don't want to put the fight where my mouth is. It's pathetic. You motherfuckers don't realize the danger you're in. When the fuck was it? I think it was Monday night. No, it was Tuesday night. I was I was on the verge of tears and I was at work. I was just thinking about this and what these dirty fucking rotten bastards in Washington are doing in this country. I was at the point of tears. I couldn't take it. They're leaving us wide open to attack wide open and nothing is being done about it. Mexicans have been crossing into our territory shooting at our people nothing is being done about it. Pathetic. Pathetic. Alright you Catholics get your military wing together start training the Knights Templar we're going to have to fight sooner or later. Let's get ready now. We're not talking about going out against the government. We're talking about going against the evil slime called ISIS. They're coming here, folks. Whether you like it or not. Your welfare, your abortion, your birth control, your gun control, they're not going to fucking help you. Especially not the gun control. Holy fuck. Right, there you have it. Drop your cocks and grab your socks. And let's get something going here. Let's bring back the Crusades. I want to fax the Mars. <laughs>